So you just got your new Apple Watch. Here's how you set it up. I'm Scott Stein and I'm gonna show you how. When you first take it out of the box, plug it into charge. Then when you turn it on, it's gonna ask you your language. Enter your language and then it's going to ask you to open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. That's already on your iPhone waiting to go if you've updated the iOS software. Then you aim the camera lens at your watch and it automatically recognizes it and starts pairing with a little clever animation. Once in a while that may not work. If you have to, you can always tap a little eye icon on your watch to get the name of your watch. Then it will send a six digit code onto your watch that you enter on the Apple Watch app. Now if you're restoring from a backup, doing this a second time, it will ask if you want to restore from a backup that it's already made on your iPhone. Now you got to accept a bunch of things. Terms and conditions, you got to enter your Apple ID and password or two-step authentication, which I recommend you setting up if you haven't already. Location services, Siri, diagnostics, all you have to click OK. And then the Apple Watch passcode. It asks you to set up a four-digit passcode just to be safe if it's taken off your wrist for safety. Enter it now, or you can make it a longer passcode. You can change this later, but you have to enter a passcode. Then it asks if you want to unlock your Apple Watch with your phone automatically. You can click yes or no from your watch. You can change that later. Now it begins to sync. This could take a while. Keep both your iPhone and your watch plugged in, connected with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in the same room. Maybe give it about 20 minutes. It's restoring your apps or looking through your iPhone for all of your apps and installing the ones that are compatible automatically. After that little wheel slowly fills in, it turns on. Everything's working, pretty easy. Keep in mind that those Apple Watch apps are gonna keep installing in the background. For a few minutes after you've uh, set it up, those little circles fill in and it's kind of like when you install apps from your iPhone. Good luck Apple watching. I'm Scott Stein at CNET and that's how to set up or restore your Apple watch with your iPhone.